is Twin Blaze here, back in another video. How are you guys doing? It has been just a bit. Um, we actually recently wrapped off with that 5k subscribers and the refresh command and all that jazz. Um, so welcome back. Um, if you are new to my channel, feel free to hit that subscribe button and that post notifications. It is in the description, so please do that. And, I mean, just click the button with the notifications on. Um, if you're interested in joining the membership, you can too. Uh, that will be more in the summer too, I'd recommend, because uh, we're going to be doing a lot of more live streams. So that will be coming. And join the Discord. It is in the description. We just had five winners, and I'm not even kidding. I just spent around 50 bucks. So it's a lot of money, but I just spent a lot of money on uh, giving you guys the prizes, uh, $10. I had a few people and I pasted their cards and I got a bunch of toy gifts and $10 to Robux. So, you know, that's free stuff for you. Um, but yeah, welcome guys. And uh, we got the music thing still working here. Uh, but that's amazing. So what I'd like to talk about today is the level leaderboard. Now these are something that people have been wanting and I have actually given out before, but um, I guess people are still wondering where they are. Uh, so I just want to make a quick video on this because I wanted you guys to know how to use them and how they work. Um, shout out to C9. He's one of my helpers and uh, you can talk to my Discord if you want. He helps out with a lot of this stuff and um, he actually got me the design for this and helped me out with this. So uh, all the models are going to be in the description. You can go grab his, which is this one on the left, and then you can go grab mine, which is on the right. His looks better, of course. It is clear, actually. There is no white background. This is a part and I'll show you about in just a second here. Um, but that's pretty much how it works. So what these leaderboards are is it displays the levels and basically it, yeah, it displays what um is your minutes let's say so um if you do have your levels like i said in my last few videos uh you could have changed it to levels minutes um uh time you know all that jazz and how it works is it updates a bunch now what it is is it goes one two and three and it goes a list all the way down and it finds a bunch of people in the game and it just puts them on a leaderboard now this is really cool because it helps people know who's the best in the game and how to beat them and get to the top and it saves and it goes to data store so it goes across all servers basically is how it works so we're going to show you here how we can work with these and basically what they were now if you can see here it says 1042 and then up here, you don't see it. Um, so I want to talk to you guys about that too because there's a difference between the two and uh, which way we can get them to work. Now, um, I'm going to stop this right here and we're going to look at this. So uh, we're going to actually go into the cash minute script, leaderboard save and script and um, all these models in the description and you're basically going to grab them and let's say I'll grab this one real quick. This is uh, Lonely Pain, which is C9. And you'll grab it, pull it out right here, and click this, and it should say item owned, and now you own it. So there you go, guys. That is your model, and you will have it for now. And then you'll just be going to Toolbox and putting it in your game. So that's pretty much how that works. So basically, what it is, is um, there's two things to this. There's two boards. Uh, you can go grab one or, the, one or the other. I'll name them in the description. But, sorry. So we're going to go to this cash script. I don't know why I said basically what it is. Um, but you're going to be putting it in server script service and the other ones you're going to be putting in workspace. I'm going to show you real quick. But in server script service, let's kind of talk about this because this is the main script and this is why people get kind of confused what's going on. Um, but let's talk about this. So first off the bat, we're grabbing the data store service, data store, and then marketplace. Um, all of these are because we're going to need for game passes and then we're going to need to grab the data store which is for saving and when player leaves gets added. So what we're doing is we're grabbing when player gets added. Um, watch you wait. First real quick. Free IP game pass and game pass ID. So I didn't really talk about this last. I kind of did but um, replace this with a 9 number. So if you have a VIP game pass place it right here and if you have a 2 times minute game pass put it right there. So that's basically that for that one so 2 times right there. Um, so what's happening on game.players.player.added is we're basically grabbing a player and we're going to create these leader stats. So this is the main thing, okay? This is the main thing. So people are kind of confused. Now, we create the leader stats. This is a normal leader stat thing and um, this is meant for uh, displaying it on the top right of the corner, okay? Um, and then this is minutes and this is cash. Cash, don't touch. But minutes is what I want you guys to look at. Um, and, you know, both of them you can look at. So you see when I highlight player, it says new, uh, minutes not player, uh, minutes not parent, leader sets with parent, cash not parent equals this. That means it's going to be displayed on a certain way or it's going to be parented to something else. Now, if I were to do minutes not parent equals and then I say leader stats, okay, 
what's that gonna do is it's gonna put it up in the top right corner so people can actually see that that's like saying you can see kills and deaths in the top right that's what that is so if you don't want your thing to be seen let's just say make this easy if you don't want it to be seen keep it to player if you do want it to be seen then you put it to leader stats and that same goes for cash right here you can change that don't change this right here keep this uh the same but this you will be changing um and we're gonna say that we're gonna do leader stats but i don't want it to be seen i don't want any of my stuff to be seen so we're gonna keep that player that's why i want this that's why i have this leaderboard part so that's what that is um and also if you want to change the name so if you don't want it to be called cash you're gonna be called money you can change that right here inside the quotations like that um so if i were to go money inside you can do that but let's say right here minutes too you want to say it, call it levels you can do that and then yeah if you want to say you want to call it levels and put it on the leaderboard do that but honestly i would recommend to not touch it so if like you guys aren't really changing anything don't touch it but what we're doing is we're grabbing the local data data store from the player and we're going to basically save it so we're going to grab these data dot minutes data dot cash and uh what we're going to do is we're going to create an increment value value and if the player owns the vip game pass okay they're going to get three okay so this is plus three um wait did i do this right last time i think i added this already okay so this is three and then this is two so if they own the vip game pass they're gonna get times three and then if they own the two times game pass they're gonna get times two so if you kind of see where i'm trying to go with this one is so if you're trying to change the minutes to like maybe five points every minute then you can change that right here to five but these are what the basics are for that because a minute is one in this um, and I'll show you right here how we do this. So what we're doing is we're going to create a quarantine type of function where we're going to be repeating it and all this stuff where we're going to keep on going. It's a while loop. And we're making sure it happens. Um, right here, we're waiting. Okay, Every minute, we're going to give a player um, one point. So every minute, it's, they're going to get a point. Now down here, we're going to do it where every two minutes, we're going to give a player a point for cash. Now why we're saying plus increment value means... So if the player does own this or the one of these, then they're going to get that instead of one so that they don't topple on, on top of each other, basically. So that's kind of what I'm trying to say with that. So that's pretty much that for that part. Sorry, guys, it's a little confusing. But 60 is this is where you guys change the value if you wanted to make it higher number. So the higher you go, the more it's going to take. The lower you go, the, the faster it's going to happen. Now, right here is what we're saving. So this is the other part. Now, if you are trying to keep it where they're saving, okay? So, I mean, you, you should normally. So, um, there's a, there's one thing you're going to have to look at. See how down in here it says player.leaderstats.minutes.value, player.cash.value. What you need to make sure is that depending on where you parent this, okay? So, right now it's minutes.parent.player. And right down here we have player.leaderstats.minutes.value. That is wrong. That is because we parented the minutes to the player instead of leader steps so this is why i changed it okay so when if you change this back to leader stats or player you got to make sure to go down here and change this so after player if it is parented to the leader stats you have that leader stats part if it isn't then you remove this and you do player dot minutes of it because that is where it located it's not located in player dot leader stats it's located in the player so that's how that works okay so we're done with the board, I mean the cache minute script. So you're good to just leave that in server script service, leave it enabled, and you're good. You can remove, you can change the name and do whatever you want to do with it. So, board one and two. Um, now he kind of made his look good. Um, I didn't really make mine too good. Let me actually turn this on. I don't know why it's on lock. But, so, you can remove this part and I'll show you what I mean. So his is like clear, it looks super nice. Um, but how this works is... Um, basically, sorry, I need to put that back there. He has white values too. Um, I'm gonna go black or something. We'll go like gray just to see. So basically what we're doing is inside this script is where you're gonna change a few things. Now, this is where I want you to pay attention again. Um, this is the main thing. So inside the board, so what you're gonna do actually, sorry, I didn't really say it well. You're actually gonna right click this and ungroup it. That is because we want to make sure this is global leaderboard and then you, the part wise you can give it out, but just keep this global leaderboard and the whatever, like just don't mess with, don't have it. Um, don't not have it in the workspace by itself um so inside of it we have the service ui now service uis are used to put on parts so that's like another way of saying that um and it's like a 
starter GUI. There we go. Okay, so you're gonna get inside the script and there's frame and there's headings. This is where he changed it. Um, if you wanna look into this, I don't wanna go into in detail, but let's say right here, you guys see how he had this gradient. So this color is gonna be changing a bunch and the heading says leaderboard at the moment. So you can do that. Um, and then in here it goes frame, list, and then content, items, all that kind of jazz. You can change whatever you'd like. Um, in here we have the samples and values and all that stuff. Um, so what we're doing is we're going to go in the script and we're going to look at a few things. Stats name, max items, min display, and update every second. So what do you guys want to do? This is your decision. Um, if you did change your stats name, which it shouldn't be changed, it should just be called minutes, let's say. So just make sure that it says minutes. If it doesn't say minutes, um, then change it to minutes. It should might say levels or something. Change it to minutes if your name is if it is minutes. That's what you call your stats. Um, and then max items is how many player names do you want to be displayed? Do you want 100? Do you want 50? Do you want 20? So you can change that to any number. You can just change that by you know deleting it, going like that. And then min value display, max value display, and then update every. So every this is updating every minute. Now I would recommend changing it to like 120, maybe because um, you really shouldn't have it update every minute. That's really really low, and that might screw up with your stuff. So I wouldn't recommend doing that. But you can change that right there. Now I don't really want to explain too much about this, but basically what it is is we're doing a bunch of data store stuff, and we're making a for loop, and we're basically going to keep repeating the script and like uh we're checking if the player value went up or it went lower and if it is above the higher so see if i equals one two or three so if they're one they get purple if they get two they're dark purple and they're three they're darker purple i don't know why c9 did that <laughs> so if you want you can change this right here i didn't really want to i forgot to explain that you can say that right here you can go gold uh you can go orange and then for third we can go whatever red so that's what those these colors are right here. So you can change that to who's one, two, and three. Now I want to explain. I am actually trying to make a overhead UI for the winners or the top three people because that'd be kind of cool, right? So I'm gonna try and work on that. I got a lot coming, guys. A lot coming. So I hope that helped you guys explain what I'm trying to do and how this works. It's super simple. This video turned out to be really long, but I just wanted to explain it more to you. I know you guys are like, get to the point, but um, gotta explain while you're at it. Um, everything's in the description, so you don't have to worry about anything. Just make sure to double check the leader stats and if they're working, like, I mean, it, everything should be working. Just double check your outputs too. That can be a problem. Um, and you know, see if I actually, I'm going to test this and show you guys real quick. So when I had this go leader stats dot minutes dot value. So what would happen is if I hit play here, okay, this is parented to the player at the moment. Now. That script that I just edited, that part was for leaving. So when I leave, I'm gonna show you this little error and you can check your output and how it works. This is cool, I actually wanna get this working. Um, it's, it's soon, guys, soon. Okay, this stuff you don't have to worry about. This is infinite yield stuff, so it's kinda weird, but don't worry about it for now. Watch when I click stop. See that right here? Minutes is not a valid member of folder. So, right here, it's already giving you an error and telling you that it's not there. That's not where it is. So, you would just delete that and there you go, you fix your problem, or you need to put it in the right spot. There you go, guys. I think that's the end of the video, to be honest. Um, that's all I really wanted to talk about, just that simple stuff on uh, the signs and everything just to make it look good. Now, um, if you do have any, any other questions, let me know in the description. Uh, I have a lot coming. I have level commands, and that's funny because uh, um, uh, he's asked me about a star code. I don't have a star code, I wish. So I have a lot of stuff coming. C9 did a freaking um, level overhead, overhead command thing with the colors and everything. I'm going to be working on that, and I'm going to actually get that out soon, super soon here. So, yes, you guys, uh, I'll be doing that soon. Um, thank you very much. I hope you did enjoy this video. Please comment, like, subscribe, and share. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Okay, I'll see you later. Bye.